Hi, my name is Bruce and I'm going to show you a solution I've come up with uh, for a general problem uh, or something that's not recognised normally as a problem uh, in putting, inserting um, studs into whatever, uh, whether it be the engine block or whether it be in some machinery or other. The normal people, what people do is they lock two nuts together with, with two spanners, they lock them together and then they, they screw the stud in and then they release the two nuts off. My client uh, that I've, we've come up with this solution for uh, does a lot of, a lot of uh, insertion of studs and this is laborious and problematic for him. So what I came up with is um, these little uh, things here which are basically a, um, a standard socket, um, a nut and a ball bearing. The bo uh, this ball bearing. So we've got the ball bearing, we've got the socket and we had a standard nut. The problem that we had with these was that there wasn't much thread in the standard nut. By the time I welded it and cleaned it up, there was not a lot of, of uh, thread in it. So what we've done now is we've taken these, uh, what we call a long nut, it's a, basically a bolt joiner. Uh, I cut them in half, so it gives me double the length of a standard bolt. I take the um, socket that suits the, that um, that nut and it doesn't matter whether it's a metric or an imperial. The only thing I do is I use uh, rattle gun sockets. I do not use standard sockets. The rattle gun sockets are much softer and uh, they won't shatter uh, because you're putting some stresses in with the welding um, and we don't want them under a rattle gun situation to, to shatter. So I place I find I buy the, the um, buy the socket, buy the, the long nut, cut the long nut off in the lathe, counter uh, uh, sink it a little bit so it'll it'll mate onto the ball, drop the ball in, drop the, the nut in, lock it up. I have one here in the um, device at the moment, uh, which I'm ticking up. You can see. Uh, it's a bit hot and it's a bit rough because it's been some time since I've done some ticking. But by the time I finish these, I'll be back, well back into the practice. So there you have it. Um, these are all different size ones. They're metric, they're uh, imperial. Uh, this particular ones that is, is ordered now, the six of these, are M10 by 1.5 pitch. Um, but tomorrow they may come in and want others. He has several workshops across Australia and I make these supply for him. Um, and that's it in a nutshell.